guys. <laughs> Doing your Christmas shopping? <laughs> hey, I've got a story that's really terrific. It's about a handsome prince, beautiful princess, and an <laughs> evil queen. It's fantastic. It'll just get you in the Christmas spirit. Would you like to come in? I have the fire going, and it's uh, awfully cold out here, so... Uh, Hey, there you are. Come on. Join us by the fire for the beautiful story of Snow White. Come on. Now we've got one of my favorite stories to tell. This is a story of Snow White. Now, Snow White had a stepmother who was pretty evil. She was also pretty ugly. <laughs> but not half as ugly as when she turned into the Wicked Witch. Now, everybody knows the story of Snow White. <clears throat> it's my favorite. And our story starts a long time ago, way up high in this beautiful kingdom on top of this beautiful range of mountains. <laughs> There was a beautiful young queen who was looking out of her window at the newly fallen snow. She cut her finger on one of the rose thorns, and as she looked at her drops of blood on the snow, she thought how wonderful it would be to have a daughter with skin as white as snow and lips as red as a rose. After Snow White was born, the lovely queen died. But soon the king took another wife, a vain and evil woman, who always wanted to be the most beautiful woman in the whole kingdom. She had a magic mirror. Snow White was 16 and growing up to be a very beautiful woman. Over the seven hills, not far from the castle, lived the seven dwarves. Keep on happy, 
see Snow White. Let him pass. Why have you come here, Prince Charming? I want to see Snow White. No one may enter the castle. The Queen has given me strict orders. But I demand to see Snow White. The Queen fears that Snow White has become even fairer than she herself. Therefore, she keeps Snow White a prisoner. The Princess is not allowed to leave the castle. Come and look. There she is. How lovely Snow White is. Hunter, you must promise to come for me if the princess is ever in danger. I promise you, Your Highness, if Snow White ever needs you, I will come and get you. Tell her she's the fairest of all. And give her this gift from me. It's a necklace. I want her to wear it. Think of me till I come back again. I shall go to her at once with your present. Thank you, Hunter. And you won't forget what you've promised. If Snow White is in danger, come for me. I give you my word, Prince. Princess Snow White, I have a surprise here for you. What is it, Hunter? It's a present from Prince Charming. Oh. He saw you standing at the window and asked me if I could let him in, but of course I couldn't. He wanted to speak to you. Then he told me to give you this present. That necklace is for the fairest woman in the land. He wishes you to wear it till he comes back again. A necklace for the fairest woman in the land. Then it belongs to me. Give it to me. The necklace is mine. The prince gave it to me as a gift. Your Highness, that is the truth. Give me that necklace. <laughs> What do you want? Your Highness, the carriage is waiting for you. I shall not go out today. Leave me alone. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Lady Queen, you are fairest here, it's true. But Snow White is a thousand times more fair than you. Snow White, you say, is fairer than I. A thousand times fairer than I. Snow White is a thousand times more fair than you. Shh. Francisca! Francisca! Have you been listening? No, Your Highness. I would never dream of listening. Send in the hunter. Yes, Your Highness.
Come here. I have something for you to do. I am at your service, Your Highness. I cannot stand the sight of Snow White any longer. Take her to the woods. And... No, Your Highness. I can't do that. Little Snow White, that good dear child... That good dear child is beginning to get in my way. Good dear child. Your Highness, I can't... Hunter! I am your queen. I command you. I can't do it. And if I offered you a thousand gold pieces... I wouldn't kill Snow White for money, whatever you offered. So, you defy your queen, do you? Then the rest of your life will be spent in a dungeon. Well, now, will you do as I command you, yes or no? What's your answer? Yes, Your Highness. Good. Go at once and take Snow White into the woods. And do what you have to do. Your Highness, I... Go! And not a word of this to anyone. I should be careful when I go into the hmm. woods. But all the animals are my friends. That's right. I hope we're lucky enough to see a deer. Do you believe we will, Hunter? We might. Or a nightingale. Or an owl staring at us with eyes as big as saucers. way to go yet. We 
still have further to go. I won't go any further. Hunter, take me back. Aren't we going to go home now? Snow White, you will never go back to the castle. Don't talk like that, Hunter. It scares me. Why do you look at me like that? What's wrong? Did I do something? The Queen is an evil woman. She has ordered me to... What? She has ordered me to... Tell me, Hunter, what is it? She said I was to kill you. Oh, I beg you, Hunter, please don't kill me. I'll stay here alone in the woods. The Queen will never know about it. The Queen made me promise I would kill you. But I cannot do it, Snow White. Here is the necklace. The one the prince gave to you.
there. Careful. Let's go quietly. It might be a thief. What if it's a monster or a dragon who breathes fire? Stop. Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you? No, me neither. All right. Let's get close together. Come on. Shh. Quietly. Follow me. Folks are first. Wow, after a scare like that, I could certainly use a glass of good warm milk. Who's been sitting on my chair? Who's been eating from my plate? It wasn't me. Who's been nibbling at my piece of bread? Who's been eating my spinach? Who's been using my fork? Who's been cutting with my knife? And who's been drinking out of my cup? There must be somebody in the house. I knew all along there was somebody here. Come on. Yes, come on. Get your lantern. No one in this corner. Nobody here. All clear under the table. Everybody upstairs. <gasps> Somebody's been lying on my bed. And on mine, too. And mine. Maybe he's hiding under the bed. Quick, come here. There's someone lying on my bed. It's a girl. It's a girl. A beautiful girl. How did she get here? She's fast asleep. Where did she come from? She must be very tired. She's so big. She doesn't look dangerous. No, but what are we going to do with her? Hide. She's waking up. king of this whole land. Snow White. What a beautiful name. She's a real princess who rides everywhere in a golden coach. How did you come here? Did you lose your way? How did you find our house, Snow White? My stepmother sent me all alone into the woods with the hunter. He was supposed to kill me. What? Why did she do a thing like that? But the hunter's a good man and he spared my life. Well, it's that a lucky thing. Sure, who knows what could have happened to you? I guess I'd better be going now. But where will you go? Why do you have to leave? You can't just go out into the forest. Why don't you stay with us? Yes, Snow White. Oh, please, please Snow White, do stay. Oh, yes, please, Snow White. Oh, please, please stay here. Do you really want me to stay here with you? Yes. yes. Shall I cook for you? Yes. yes. And keep everything clean? Oh, oh please. And wash all the dishes? Yes. yes. Do the sewing and mending? Yeah, look at this hole in my pants. <laughs> you would like it here with us, Snow White. Oh, yes, we have lots of fun together. And when we're out working, we'll leave Snow White in charge of the house. Yes, and she'll keep it in order for us. We have plenty to do, Snow White. You won't get bored. And in the evenings, we'll play lots of games. Hey, yes, watch me. Look, look what I can do. Too. I can turn cartwheels. Can you really? How can I? Look. Oh, let me see. I can crow like a rooster. Oh, show me. Cock a doodle doo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and I can talk like a duck. Watch me. Quack, quack. Hey, let's have some music. Ah, music. Snow White, can you dance? Yes, a little. Beat it. Please, won't you be my partner? 
Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Lady Queen, you are fairest here, it's true. But over the seven mountains far away, where the seven dwarfs stay, Snow White is a thousand times more fair than you. Snow White is alive. So the hunter didn't kill her after all. Francisca! Has the hunter returned yet? Yes, he came back a few minutes ago. Bring him here at once. You sent for me? Snow White is alive. You disobeyed my order. The order of your queen. I couldn't do it, Your Highness. I couldn't kill Snow White. You'll pay for this for the rest of your life. Go on! Don't be too hard on me, Your Highness. I tell you, I just couldn't do it. Silence! Throw the hunter into the dungeon. Keep him on bread and water. The Queen is gathering some old clothes for disguise. She's going to kill Snow White herself. Snow White. Did everyone enjoy his breakfast this morning? Yes, yes. I did. Oh, so and did all of you clean your, your, your place? Who's going to help me tidy up then? I, I will, will. So do I. Fine. You two help me clear the table, and the rest of you start tidying up the house. Yeah. Okay. Good, fellas. Mm -hmm.
Good day. I hope I didn't scare you. No. Are you all alone? Yes. But where are the seven dwarfs? They've gone to their mine. They won't be back till this evening. Ah. I have some lovely belts here. Take a look. And dainty laces. And pretty ribbons. Let's see what there is. How do you like this belt? It's beautiful. And this one? It's even prettier. 
Well then, come on, let's go inside. You can try on all the belts I have. I'm sure it'll fit. Try it on and see. Come here, I'll help you. Isn't it pretty? Just my size, too. Mm-hmm. I think it could be a little bit tighter, don't you? Let me see if I can fix it for you. What are you doing? Not so tight. White as snow. Red as blood. Black as ebony. Now I am once again the fairest one of all. She thought of a new scheme, even more wicked than the first one, and she got ready to go over to the Seven Mountains to the Dwarf's Cottage once again.
Good morning, my child. Would you have a cup of water for a tired old woman? Yes, of course. Oh. Thank you. Could I sit down and rest for a little while? Of course, over there. Wonderful comb. You like them, dear? I have lots more in my basket. Ivory, tortoise, golden comb. Why don't we go into the house? I can't allow anyone in at all. The seven dwarfs have forbidden it. They're absolutely right. You shouldn't let anybody in. But there's no reason why we shouldn't choose a comb out here. How do you like this one? Very much. Uh, I'll put it in for you. What lovely hair you have. <laughs> now who's the prettiest in all the land? That gets rid of you at last. magic mirror that Snow White was still alive. That night, she searched through her book of witchcraft. She didn't want to fail this time.
virtue will die this time. I shall kill it, even if it cost me my life. With the deadly poison in this apple, I'll destroy Snow White forever. How do you know? I was listening behind the door. I heard her say so. I must go right away and warn the prince, as I promised. How can I get you out of there? I don't know where the key is. There, it's hanging over there. Where? Over there on the wall. persuade you to buy something from her again. She'll never leave you in peace. Never. Don't buy anything. And no one in the house, do you hear? Don't you worry. I'll be careful this time. Come on, then. Let's go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Snow White. Goodbye, Snow White. Goodbye, Snow White. Goodbye, Snow White.
Good day to you, my pretty little one. Good day. Shall I carry the apples into the house? I can't let anyone in. The seven dwarfs have absolutely forbidden it. Of course you mustn't let anyone in. But I'm only delivering the apples for the dwarfs. They always buy them once a year. Every year in the fall, I walk all the way over the seven mountains to bring the dwarfs their apples. You must come back again when the dwarfs are at home. Oh, I'm an old, old woman. I can't come back over the seven mountains for the second time. You'll have to. I won't buy your apples. Very well. And this year, the dwarfs will get no apples. You wait and see how angry they'll be with you. But why don't you take a few for me as a gift? No, thank you. I don't want any apples. Look. Here's my juiciest apple. Take a bite and see. Don't you trust me? Very well. Then I'll cut the apple in two. The red half is for you. Take it. And the white half I shall eat myself. Delicious, isn't it? can be an A-help, Snow White. <laughs> a thunderstorm. I don't like the sound of that. I don't either. Do you think the Wicked Queen has done something to Snow White? Quick, let's go home. Finish up there. Get your coats on. Hurry. Listen to that thunder. Maybe Snow White is in danger. Maybe something's happened to her. Yes, quick. Let's go home. There's no comb in her hair. She's not wearing a belt. That was the Wicked Queen. What did she do to her this time? Shh, quiet a moment. I can't hear her heart beating. Snow White is dead. put her in a beautiful glass box, hoping that she would open her eyes at any moment.
happened? It's the seven dwarfs. Why have you two come here? We're looking for Snow White, the king's daughter. You're looking for Snow White? Who are you, anyway? I'm Prince Charming. The wicked queen is trying to kill Snow White. That's why I brought the prince here. But we haven't found a trace of her anywhere. You can stop your search now. Snow White is dead. Dead? The wicked queen did kill her. Give me Snow White. I'll give you a rich reward. No, no! We wouldn't exchange Snow White for anything in the world. Dear little dwarfs, I have been searching all over the land for her. The necklace that she is wearing was a present from me. What? Was it really? I love Snow White and cannot live away from her. Give me her coffin. Over here, everybody. Snow White must stay here. Why does he want to take her away? We won't let him. We'll keep her here with us. But Snow White. Yes, he does. But all the same, she's ours. But look at him. He looks so sad. And Snow White always wore his necklace. Perhaps she loves him, too. Could be. Prince, since you love Snow White so very much, you can take her with you. Thank you, you good little dwarfs. I'll take Snow White back to my palace. And I'll honor and cherish her. Forever and ever. Come on. Hunter, get the horses and follow us. What you gave to me. I was to wear it until you came back again. Snow White, we'll go back home to my castle, and then we'll get married without a moment's delay. Yes? Yes. And then we'll all have a wonderful party. And you can all eat as much as you want. <laughs> and you'll come and live at my castle. What's the matter? Don't you want to come to the palace? Yes, but, uh, you see, Snow White, we're not used to the world of big people. We don't really want to leave our little house in the woods. But we'll give you a party. Here, in the woods. I'd like it. Oh, I'd love that. Wait and see. We dwarfs can throw the greatest party in the world. Yes, we are happy little people. Yes, I can see that. 
Come on, then. Off to the wedding feast. the stories that we tell on the holiday storybook were written by two brothers. Their names were the Brothers Grimm. Have you ever heard of them? No? You? Hmm? Well, I know you heard their stories because they've written the most popular stories in the whole wide world. Everybody knows the stories that the Grimm brothers wrote. Snow White, okay? Hansel and Gretel, Red Riding Hood, hmm? And on and on and on. There were so many stories written by the Grimm brothers. Now, the Grimm brothers, they, they lived during the 19th century in Bavaria. Now, Bavaria is a beautiful part of Germany, which is just filled with magic mountains, enchanted forests, and people who always believed in fairies, dwarves, and magic. <laughs> Do you? Now, the Grimm's, they knew wonderful tales of magic, witchcraft, handsome princes, and beautiful princesses. <laughs> These stories were passed on from generation to generation, from parent to child, and everybody knows their stories today, right now. 
Now, the Grimm brothers thought that it would be nice, for instance, if the stories were all collected and written down so that the children, like you and like me, could enjoy them as much as the children in Bavaria. Okay? So, Snow White, Hansel and Gretel, the Bremen Town musicians, all of their stories have become a major part of books for children. Now, if you like to read books, and if you like stories, especially stories about magic times, you can find the Grimm Brothers in the library. That's right. Of course, the Grimm Brothers were clever enough to add a touch or two of their own to their stories. And of course, they all filled their tales with all the magic and charm of the wonderful places that they lived in. That's right. So, you don't have to wait for your parents to tell you a story. Just go down to the library and get the beautiful stories of the brother Grimm for yourselves to read and enjoy. It's a lot of fun reading. It'll open up a whole new world to you.